Hello people, um, it's the end of the night, I'm very tired, I want to go to bed, I have my makeup smeared all over my face and I look a mess, but I don't care, um, basically I just needed a little bit to put at the start of the video to explain that basically, the two main places that I ever go, like usually I don't really go anywhere, there's two main places that I go, I have to go to a clinic every Wednesday, and then the chemist no, actually it was a clinic every Wednesday and a chemist three days a week because basically I took overdoses several times as a teenager and now they don't trust me with medication at all. Even though if I wanted to kill myself now, I would be a bit more sensible than to just take random medication because I've learned the hard way that does not work and you'll just end up in hospital in pain and you know, even more wishing you were dead because it's so horrible. So yeah. I wouldn't do that again, but they don't trust me, so I have to pick up my medication regularly, but actually it's not even that anymore, now I go to the clinic four days a week, four days a week, literally I go to a clinic, I go every day except Wednesday, on Wednesday I go to the chemist, and on Saturday I go to the chemist, and I get Sunday's medication on a Saturday, <clears throat> but so basically I'm going to both of these places a lot, so basically like the staff have gotten to know Marley really well, and a lot of them get like way too excited over him and you know they've just been giving him too much attention and his behaviour is, is I've been saying this for a while, like, his behaviour's been going right downhill because of it so a couple of days ago I actually brought it up at the clinic um, I spoke to my key worker about it I was like, like he's not behaving anymore I, um, he's not really listening to me he's, I mean, he, he would listen to me, but he's, you know, he's really focused on other people because he's just, like, they actually, they got a treat drawer, like, they suddenly, one day, they just suddenly had this drawer full of treats, so every time I would go in, like, all the staff would be giving them treats, um, so, yeah, and that basically just made it go from, he's a little bit distracted to, he's just full-on obsessed with trying to get to that treat drawer every time I go there now. So basically I spoke to them and they put an email out to all the staff and told them that they have to ignore him and remember that he has a working dog and that he cannot be distracted like that. And that basically now I'm having to just, like every time I go there now, it's only been two days, um, this is the second day, but basically when I go to either of those places now I'm using it as training sessions again. So back to treats every time we go into those places and treating him like he's properly in training. So... Yeah, it's a pain in the bum, um, I shouldn't be having to do this, but like, at least they've been told not to annoy me, oh, look at it. it's such a mess, <laughs> at least they've been told like, to leave him alone now, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long to get him back into shape, but yeah, so basically, don't be too hard on him, um, the bit at the start of this video, like right after I stopped talking, like, we we just get, we walked into the mall just normally and then right before we went in I got a treat and decided to just quickly make sure he was focusing and healing and he did very well there <laughs> although he's probably just more excited about the treat but yeah so it's a video I love his little funny walk and also his little smile when he looks up at me and his little tail wags as well when he walks it's so cute. And he did, he looks so, it looks like that vest as well, there's something about that vest, like when he smiles, I don't know, it just, it just makes him look extra cute, like he's wearing like a boring black on it, just, I don't know, doesn't have the same effect with the smile, <laughs> I'm a weirdo, yes, yeah, so anyway, just, <clears throat> practicing him staying next to me here, just quickly before we go into the pharmacy, just make sure that he's, gonna behave inside hopefully not distracted already he's looking up at me he's on the floor like while I'm recording over this <laughs> yeah I'd say he did pretty good there apart from the little random sniff inside. handed him my script and we're gonna go upstairs until it is ready. Hey Marley, come on. You're gonna go in the lift again. Hey, really so good. Got a big ship on the front. Uh, right, back in here. Good. Yes. Wait. No. <laughs> Marley, that's the same problem we have at the clinic I go to. 
the stuff. I've been giving him too much attention, so I'm having to completely retrain him, basically. Hey, Marley. So we're on a training mission today, so I can't really film much because I need to... Wait! Yeah, in. I need to be focusing on him, and it's hard for me to... Marley, focus! Yes, one. Yeah, so... Hi! <laughs> Sorry to be too much. I've got the camera on here, and it'll become a weirdo. Yes, Marley. Marley, heal, focus. Yes, right, it's hard for me to film much when I'm trying to trade because I need to have like cheat and stuff. I'm refocus on him. Marley! <laughs> yeah, it's totally back to basics. Hey, Marley, come on. But I've told all the staff that they can't interact with him anymore. So hopefully he'll be back to normal in a few weeks. Hey, Marley. Stay focused, you were doing so good a minute ago. Focus. Yes, sit. <laughs> sit. Stay. Yes, go for it. I'm going to put my phone away so I can deal with him. But he's doing so good. Yeah, this is us in the queue, the checkout queue in M&S. I decided to go and pass the time waiting for my prescriptions. We're buying a lot of our food. I only ever buy a couple of things in here, partly because it's so insanely expensive and partly because I can't carry all the stuff up the stairs here and the lift is still broken after two months. The lift, like, in the building where I live. It's an absolute joke. I, I, I struggle so hard getting up the stairs when I come home, so like, I can't bring home heavy shopping. Um, so yeah, I just got a couple of things. I think I got some feta cheese, some olives, some tomatoes, some hollandaise sauce, and some kind of leaves. I can't remember what they were, it was just a bag of leaves. Um, I usually get spinach, but there was something else that was reduced, so I thought I would get that instead. <coughs> so there was people, two people in the queue in front of me, I felt the need to turn around and start putting Marley. Um, thankfully, they only did so for a second and then they noticed his vest and then left him alone so I didn't actually have to say anything to them, thankfully. But also, this is totally random, but my olives kept trying to escape. Like, you know when they can bear belt when you put your, where you put your food? Like, at first, like, they started going down into the other people's shopping. What's he doing? such a little weirdo. <laughs> um, yeah, start going into their shopping, so I moved it back into the bit where my stuff was. And then, like, there's a bit, like, on where it gets to the till, there's a bit that sort of pushes all to one side, and, like, stuff was going everywhere. And then my olives, I, I didn't even notice at first, but, like, when, when the, blah, I can't speak. When the woman serving me was about to tell me the total, the woman behind me was like, I think this is hers as well. Turned out it was the olives that end up in her shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I swear they just didn't want to come home with me. Evil olives hating me. Like imagine, imagine that. Like you know your life's bad when even a jar of olives hates you. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've lost the plot. Maybe that's why they don't like me. You think I'm weird? Marley looks weird too, isn't it? Like people are gonna think I'm weird. Look at him with a like multicolored vest and his like dyed tail. <laughs> I think he looks cute though. Oh, he looks very cute. And plus, I mean, if someone, like, snatches him and goes running down the road with him like that, like, people are going to see him and see what way he went. Well, I don't want to take a chance on another dog being stolen, so I want Marley to stand out as much as possible. <clears throat> Maybe not to the extent that I've seen some dogs on YouTube. Like, some people have, like, stripy, like, dyed ears and stuff. But I don't object to it. I just, I wouldn't necessarily do it to my own dog. But I think, I feel like it was a bit too much. But... I mean, total respect to anyone who does do that though, it does look good, I'm not, really not objecting to it in any way, I just, I'd be, I don't, I think I'd be worried about getting it in the rears as well, but yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, it's up to you, feel free, stay happy, do what you want. <laughs> it's just you go down me, man, come on, go back, go back, that's why you're falling, because you're not flat, flat, go against there. darkness and the fuzziness. Um, I'm home now and I'm kind of frustrated that 
Marley's training has to go so far back because they let the staff pet him so much. But I just, I felt bad, like, they all get so excited over him, I felt bad saying, no, you can't touch him. But his behaviour has suffered, so he's now on a no pets rule. No one is allowed to touch him. Um, um, yeah, he, get, he gets too excited in there now, so it was quite frustrating. But he did quite good, though. Um, this is only the second day since the whole no touching at all thing started. Like, before then, I was just kind of felt bad saying no to people. Sometimes I would say no, like, to random members of the public out in the street, I would usually say no. But, like, with staff in places that I go regularly, like, I felt... Like, I, was just, I didn't feel comfortable saying no, but now I have, so hopefully he shall improve. Anyway, I'm now watching Crufts. I don't usually watch it. Like, I don't usually even know when it's on. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to watch Crufts. I'm gonna, um, I got a thing on Facebook the other day saying it was started, and it was like, it said, the event won't be shown here. There will be a link for how to access it when it starts. And then nothing ever happened. Like, I'm confused, like, was it supposed to, were you supposed to be able to watch it on there? Like, I don't know, well, I thought I was going to get to watch it on my phone, but apparently not, so I'm now watching it on TV. And I'm a little bit confused, though, actually, like, I think I said I was confused about something else, I'm, like, I'm confused again, I'm just a confused person. But, you know what, I don't get right, these are, like, all these really well-trained dogs. So why are they all pulling and barking? Like, that, that confuses me, like, I'm probably missing something, like. I don't know if it's just to get them in the mood or whatever, but it just it just seems really weird. I'm probably just stupid. <laughs> I don't really know about these things. I've never been into watching dog shows, but I'm gonna start watching them. So anyway, farewell. Marley's sleeping on the floor, he's so cute. <laughs> Bye people. So oh, I just came back from taking Marley for a walk. Please excuse the light. That's not very much better, is it? Um I didn't mind if I was sleeping, but absolutely exhausted. I had to get up just after 8 o'clock and I had to take Marley for a walk. Now he's in the kitchen because he's a weirdo. Hi. Anyway, coming back out, what are you doing in there? He just stood by the kitchen door so I let him in. I didn't mind. But now, the light is so bright. Let's put it off. You know, um, I'm just gonna go actually to bed. We're good. A bit more early. I know it's early a little bad. I am done with this day. What's sore head and everything. Didn't even get to watch Crufts because I fell asleep. I was just so, so insanely exhausted. And I was lying there thinking like I want to go to sleep but I can't go to sleep because I need to take Marley out in a few hours and then I was like well I've got a few hours but so I'll try and get a little bit of sleep before I have to take him out. So that's what I did. I'm so, 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 so tired still. <laughs> and I need to get some, um, I've got a little bit of shopping when I was, I don't know, turn TV down, where did I want to? I got a little bit of shopping while I was out, um, when I was getting my prescriptions, I grabbed a little couple of bits of food, but I forgot some things, so I'm going to have to get that delivered before I go to sleep. Oh, oh no! I'm missing this. I think this is still Crufts on. It's got small companion dogs. I want to see them. Oh, there's a wee crested one. How cute. I'll show you. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's one of those wee crested things. Um, so, yeah, I need to. I'm going to have to order some bits and bobs before I go back to bed, which kind of sucks. But oh well, I'll get to watch the tiny doggies for a bit. Hey, Marley. Hey, how are you, tiny doggy? You just looking smart with your bandana on. I swear he's camera shy. What is it? Hello. He doesn't like it when I point my phone at him. He suddenly won't look at me. Look at me. Yeah, good boy. I love that little bandana on him. It's so cute. Oh, it's so sorry. i got to take off him just now, though. He doesn't sleep in it, do you? That would be silly. But I do like to keep it on in the house sometimes just because it makes him so cute. Anyway, toodles.